Welcome back to the Teach Me CQL series. This series is presented by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. It is intended to support healthcare quality leaders, health IT vendors, and measure developers explore the use of CQL or clinical quality language. Please make sure to bookmark our page on the eCQI Resource Center for future reference. For this session, we will dive into timing comparisons commonly used in current eCQMs. As most are aware, almost all of the current eCQMs use timing comparisons in many clinical expressions. Comparing the date of a diagnosis against a clinical measurement or encounter date is a powerful expression to determine whether a patient is in or out of the numerator for a measure. For today's session, we will use the eCQM Appropriate Testing for Pharyngitis, CMS 146, version 13. Before we dive into the measure, let's talk more about timing expressions and timing precision from the CQL specification. A bit on the basics. Authors can compare date, date time, and time values using the standard comparison operators like equals, does not equal, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than, and greater than. A great example of these comparison operators is seen in the age logic across almost all of the CMS program eCQMs. In our example measure, CMS 146 version 13, we use the greater than or equal to three used in the initial population expression. It is important to note that we don't need a unit of measure on the three, since the unit of measure is explicitly stated within the function and function name. In addition, from the CQL specification, we learn that authors can perform precision-based comparisons using same as, before, after, of, and same or before, after. Let's take a look at our example measure to see how some of these comparisons are used. If we look at the last line of this expression, we can use a real date example to illustrate the point. If we look at the start of the ED or ambulatory visit dot relevant period, we can imagine that starts at June 11th at 8 a.m. We then look at the antibiotic ordered dot author date time, and we can imagine that was on June 14th at 11 a.m. That gives us two date time points. Now let's look at our comparison in between. Three days or less on or before day of. We see a couple of the comparisons that we learned about previously. Three days or less on or before day of. We are looking for antibiotic orders that were authored within three days of the start of the visit. Let's look at those date timestamps in a table to make it easier to see the logic in action. We can see here in the example one row that information that we presented previously, the start of the ED visit and the author date and time for the antibiotic order. Using our within three days or less logic, we see that it evaluates to true. We've provided an additional example to show when that logic evaluates as false. As we see in the second row, the start date time of the ambulatory visit and the author date time for the antibiotic are outside of the three days or less logic. Our example also shows us an additional timing operator day of. This operator is used across many of the CMS program eCQMs to indicate the level of precision for the time comparison. As we noted in our previous example, the start of the relevant period and antibiotic author date time each have an associated date time stamp. For the purposes of our comparison, the addition of the day of provides a level of precision when comparing the date time stamps. Only the date value of the day portion of the timestamp will be compared. It's an important aspect since anything at day precision or greater will not perform a time zone offset adjustment before the comparison. This prevents timing issues if comparison of timing locations is across different time zones or daylight savings transitions. See our Teach Me CQL session from July 2022 
titled Time Zone Considerations for more information. Thanks for joining us on this installment of Teach Me CQL. We hope these sessions are informative. Be sure to check out our other sessions on the eCQI Resource Center CQL Education page. Thank you.